Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday. Hump day, happy hump day. I'm just kind of wound up and a little nervous because today I want to talk about cellulite. I have so many people ask me about, we're going to talk about cellulite, we're going to talk about losing weight in general, we're going to talk about loose skin, and we're going to talk about atrophied muscles. Those are the things that keep you from looking firm. First of all, I'm going to leave some videos down below that I watched probably well, it wasn't a year ago because I just started this little journey at the end of May. So I probably watched them, um, you know, like last June or yeah, somewhere around there. And they just made the biggest difference in my head because in my mind, I was thinking I would be okay with my weight and my size if I were firm. I was always trying to cheat, cheat the system or half step it. I was trying to get to, you know, firm and no cellulite without doing the hard work. And I'm just here to tell you it's not going to happen. Like the hair videos, you know, I will key in how to lose cellulite. And up pops all these young girls that, you know, it's, I'm not saying they're using it as clickbait, but that's just a, a that's something that everybody wants. Every woman wants to lose cellulite. And so I think it's just a good title and a good subject. But in my opinion, if you are 20 some years old, it's not the same as if you are in your late thirties, you know, after you've had children, thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, it's just a, a totally new ball game. What I want to do today is I just want to discuss what has worked for me. At this moment, I don't think I have any cellulite. Okay, that's not saying I look like a Victoria's Secret, you know, swimsuit model. What I have to deal with now is the skin and the atrophied muscles. But what I kind of want to go through with you is the steps I have taken to get to the point where I am now because I think, I think I did the right thing. I'm hoping. So, Stay tuned and we will go through my, I've got two notebooks here. One from last year that some things I want to mention and one notes I have taken for the past couple of days, if not probably about a week. So I'll be right back. So just for the heck of it, and I think I'm going to use this picture as my thumbnail, but I'm going to put a picture up here of last year on July 25th. And luckily every day, these are some notes, I was evidently doing a video. Every day I write down how much I weigh. Okay, that day I weighed 134.2. So that means I had already lost, let's go to my beginning date, which was May. Yeah, May 26th, Tuesday, I weighed 152.2. So by July 25th, I was down to 134.2. So in this picture that I'm gonna put up here is that day 134.2 to now, which I'm like right at 118, 119. I kind of go in those two numbers. So you can see the drastic difference and I wish I had like a bikini picture of the beginning, but I don't. I don't, I'll have to look through my phone some more, but I don't. So you can see, and I'll be honest, it's not that I felt that bad, that I looked that bad, but you can just see by looking at that photo that I was swollen and just had like a, I felt like I had on a fat suit. Like I had just put on a layer of fat all over my body. And one thing that bothered me so much was even my back, like my back being just, I don't know, and like right here, I just felt so thick. So that is, you know, just a little bit of a visual. And I do have some other pictures, and the braver I get, the more I'll show you. <laughs> just as a quick note, let me just, you know, show you some things that I was talking about on July 25th of last year. I was talking about IBS and gut health is leads to your mental health, and that is so true. Read about the nerve that goes from your brain all the way down to your gut. It's amazing, just 
how connected they are. Okay, one thing that I write over here and I've got it underlined, don't over exercise. It releases cortisol. That is something we're going to talk about today. Menopause, hormonal, all about the hormones. It's all about the hormones. Metabolism, um, let's see, it's all about metabolism, insulin, intermittent fasting. It's just, you know, there's just so much of that in here. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to link the exact Dr. Berg videos that I watched months and months ago that stuck with me and really made sense to me. And they made it so that I started a path, a realistic path. I think I've told you before that last year I told myself, Lisa, you're just not gonna look good this summer. <laughs> I just knew to do this the right way, I was not going to, the results were not gonna be there last summer. But I felt so bad with my IBS and my joint pain and everything else that I was willing to do it. And one thing I want to really stress is don't look at it as I'm starting now and I'm not going to feel good or look good for a year. It's not like that. You feel better and look better every day, every day. So you guys have seen my journey and I will try to link whatever video kind of corresponds with this, these notes and everything. So you can see how I looked that day. And that's what's kind of been neat is you guys have seen it all along, but it's been such a gradual thing that you might not realize. I know I didn't realize when I came across that video that I got that picture from, and then I ended up finding the pictures. I had to just look, search the month and the date in my photos. You know, it's, it's a big difference. And I just realized, think about how much better my body feels without that weight on my frame. Just how much more, I feel so much more spry. I guess we should start with what is cellulite. So cellulite is when our fat cells get so full and so big that they break through the fascia, which Dr. Berg describes as like a piece of saran wrap that is right underneath our skin. And it gets so big and enlarged that it breaks through that fascia. And then that's when we get like that dimpled effect. What do we need to do? This is how the approach that I took. I knew that I was not gonna be able to get rid of that without losing fat. And this is the biggest thing that helped me is when he told me that even when you're doing intermittent fasting, even when you're doing keto, carnivore, whatever you choose, you are not gonna lose more than two to two and a half pounds of fat a week. Any more than that is gonna be just fluid or muscle loss or something like that. So that really helped me because I had a realistic goal and I didn't feel like I was stalling or anything because I pretty much maintained that two pounds a week. Now, when I got to where I am now, I'm pretty much stalled because I don't think you know, people make fun of my veins showing and everything. I don't think that I have a lot of fat left on my body. I may have just a teeny tiny bit like in my tummy. I can't tell if it's just loose skin from having two babies or what it is. And then we'll talk about loose skin too. But anyway, I knew that I needed to lose that fat before I could ever really try to tone up or you know lose the cellulite so that is what i have done we're coming to the point where i am now i still am not satisfied with my legs and everything but it's not cellulite it is the atrophied muscle underneath see when you have that big layer of fat on top of your muscles it it kind of makes your muscles shrink and the biggest point he said to me was it makes them kind of hang like off the bone. And I have always had the jiggliest legs. That is what I am targeting now. And I'm on operation legs and core. I've already been working out my arms and, you know, I will do an arm and workout video eventually. But so I'm really working on now my, the core of my body, getting it strong and my legs and my butt and thighs. Now, I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to go. I don't know how 
much success I'm going to have, but that is just part of my personality. When something bothers me, I will find out what it takes to correct that problem, and I will do that to the best of my ability. You know, it's kind of like with eyebrows, eyelashes, or lips, or whatever else. If I want to find out the effect of something, hey baby, want to get up here? Look at, look at skinny Chanel. Come on, come on. Ah, she just wants me to pat her. She doesn't want to come up here, I don't think. You can come up here. If I pick her up, she'll get all crazy tense. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do everything I think that I should be doing and it will be what it will be. It's kind of like, there's a lot of things that I have done the best that I can do and I have to say to myself, it is what it is. And when you learn that and you learn to live with that, it really, it really helps. But I'm not gonna be that way until I know I've done everything I can. So what I am working on now is working those muscles, squats, lunges, planks, and my arm weights. And I watched another guy that was, and he was like, it, it was in like a, one of those long ads and it was actually on one of um, Dr. Berg's video, sorry, cat hair everywhere. It was, might have been on the, one of his that talked about this too, but you don't want to just target one muscle. Like you see girls building their butt and everything, which I gotta tell you, I do not miss having a butt whatsoever. I wouldn't care if my butt got the tiniest bit bigger, but I do want it to look like a butt. You know what I mean? I want it to be the healthiest version. You don't want to just target like one muscle group. You want to do exercises that target all of those muscles in your um, butt and thighs. She's right here with me. She is the sweetest girl. She's such a good girl. So I have always had good luck with lunges, squats, walking. That's something I want to do. It's just, that is just one of those things, sweating and just, I don't know, I just have like a mental block. I think when I get in my neighborhood and it's easier to do, I might do it, but I know that walking is good for you. Planks, I love that they strengthen your core, but they're not, I don't know. I just, sometimes I think some things that people do almost build their stomach or build muscle right there. I just kind of want to tighten everything. So that's what I am focusing on, sleep. Okay, this, was, this is such a big, profound thing. You cannot imagine how important sleep is to losing weight and getting firm and getting fit. If you do not have good sleep, you are not gonna be able to achieve those goals because I always wondered, and I've told you this, where does it go? Like when you lose fat, where does it go? Do you pee or poop it out? I mean, where does it go? Actually, it leaves your cells little bit by little bit, and it's actually like a, you burn it off and it's almost like a gas. They say you exhale it. And you do pee and poop, you know, excess food or excess fluids, but the real fat in your cells, you actually exhale it and you lose fat when you sleep. So if you are not sleeping well, you are going to stall. You have to get good sleep. And in order to get good sleep, you have to eat good things. There's just, all of it just fits together so much. Even, he even was talking about when you have cellulite, which is, you know, that excess in all of your fat cells and your muscles are atrophied, that it cause, in, causes inflammation and it makes your hips hurt. And you know, I've told you, I mean, I got rid of a car thinking it was getting in and out of that car that was making my hips hurt. So that's, that's me in a nutshell right there. <laughs> I always try everything before I have to get to the hard thing, you know? The biggest point I wanna get across to you is if you are around my age, and I would say 10 years, 10 or 15 years younger or older, we cannot do the things that young girls do. We have to understand the importance of hormones. That's why even as a child, when you go through puberty, you start filling out. And then when you go through menopause, it's just, it's another big hormone change in your body. So you have to understand that and you have to be realistic. So I think if I were a coach or, you know, trying to coach my best friend on how to do this 
and I knew that she was overweight and you know that she had some steps to do I would say the first thing you need to do is keto you can call it whatever you want you don't even have to call it keto you can call it just eating whole foods and cutting out sugars even the natural sugars you can call it that I mean all it is is eating real food that reduces your insulin and intermittent fasting that's something that i haven't been doing and i want to kind of get back into it i don't really want to lose more weight but i think that the benefits will be there for me with the like extra skin and just toning up so i think i'm going to start skipping breakfast again and doing my lunch and my dinner again and just see what happens i'm just gonna I'm a big proponent of see what happens if it's bad just you know if it's something that you can undo undo it so that's what i'm going to try to do i'm going to work on my planks squats and lunges but i'm not going to do it to the point where i am so sore that my muscles can't recuperate. That's very, very important for your muscles and your body to be able to recuperate when you sleep. So you don't want, even Dr. Berg says not to work out when you're sore. So, but I don't think I'm getting to that point. I mean, I'm a little sore, but I don't think it's like, you know, when I've been to a private trainer before where you could barely get out of the car the next day. I haven't been like that. And then loose skin. I have so many people ask me about that. And I think what is better this time than any other time that I have lost weight is probably the quality of food that I'm eating. I'm not just eating. I think when I was 45 or 44 and I lost a lot of weight, I was eating just the, I mean, I'm so ashamed. I would eat like an oatmeal bran muffin. And then I think my big things were those oatmeal muffins and sometimes I wouldn't all, eat all day and then I would eat one of those. I would eat like chicken nuggets. It's, I don't know, crazy stuff. I mean, I can't even remember really. I probably have a video back then of doing it. Now it's like I know that I'm eating healthy things and I've been to the doctor. I've got all my, you know, levels and everything and I do go every four months just to make sure. And so you've got to, eat healthy and you've got to lose the fat first once you start losing the fat then after you have lost all the fat that you want to kind of like i'm doing then you can tone up now if you want to do both of those things at one time more power to you but in my mind it was so big it was so overwhelming that i told myself I'm going to do this first. I mean, I knew all this back then. And that's why I said to myself, Lisa, you're not going to look good this summer. Go ahead and face it. I wanted to lose the fat first and feel good and not hurt and not have to go to the bathroom after every single meal. And just, you know, I wanted to look good in my clothes. And I knew that if I got down to the point where I am now, then I could tackle the loose skin and the atrophied muscles and that is what i'm doing so gosh i feel like i've just been all over the place you guys i hope that this makes sense i think just the main point i'm trying to get across is you have to do it in steps and that's what i have done and so i think the fact that i have lost weight kind of the right way and i have done it a little bit by a little bit that my skin has kind of regenerated. Now, I'm not trying to say I don't have any extra skin because I do, but I'm realistic too. I'm 50 years old. I am not gonna try to look like a 22 year old. I just want to be the best. I want to be the best that I can be, and then I want to be happy with that. You'll be surprised because you'll think you won't be happy, but when you know that you have done the best that you can do, there is a certain satisfaction there and you do get just a certain happiness that you can get with that. Another thing is I wrote down here is intermittent fasting increases growth hormone. When you increase growth hormone, that helps you repair. That helps you repair that fascia that you know keeps your fat cells from dimpling through. It helps you repair those muscles. Really, the human body is amazing. Have you seen some of those people? There is a lady on here that I 
came across one day, I guess I was probably watching keto or some video like that, maybe insulin, I can't remember. And it was her mom that didn't start working out until she was like, I think in her 60s, and she is like buff. So I know that it can, it can be done. Now, do I know that I can do it? I don't know, but I am going to get to be the best point that I can get. I have to think long term. Like I wrote down here, it's going to take time. One, two to three years. And Dr. Berg says that in one of his videos and it stuck in my head. But I thought, you know, it's like I say with bangs, you have to enjoy them the whole way out to grow them out. I'm just gonna enjoy it the whole way. And that's pretty much what I've done. You guys have seen how happy I feel and just the pride, the physical good feeling that you will feel and the mental feeling of accomplishment and then the pure mental happiness because you are not as foggy. And John and I talk about this all the time. How many more hours have I gained in my life by not taking a two hour nap every day and not sitting on my phone every night trying to fall asleep? Now I fall asleep like a child. Like we will be watching, we're watching Harrow now. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's really good. It's a perfect before you fall asleep show. Nothing crazy, nothing upsetting, like a little bit of, it's kind of, if you liked Dexter, you'll like it. And we will watch that and we will even say, we're gonna watch two episodes tonight. I can't make it through. Last night was one of those nights and after the first one I said, John, I'm not gonna be able to make it. And so I fell asleep. I sleep like a baby and my entire quality of life has changed. And it's just, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even, it sounds so gimmicky and stupid. I, you know, when I say it, I feel kind of corny, but it's true. Let's just use this as like a jumping off point and leave any questions down below. I would like to do a video like this maybe once a week because I want to keep you guys, I want to keep you guys and I want to keep myself kind of enthusiastic and pumped up about it. And now, I've said this how many times reading your dms on my instagram best thing probably one of the best things i've ever done my whole youtube career i have just i could cry i feel like i have connected so much with so many of you and i never realized how much these little chats like this have helped some of you those of you like me that were suffering with ibs those of you that just needed to see another 50 year old woman do it, just, it's been amazing. So now it's kind of like I realize how many of you are out there and just, I love, I will never quit talking about fashion or beauty. I've got some beauty things to tell you about today, but it's just, it's the whole picture. We've got to have the whole picture and I want that for all of us. Leave some questions down below. And I will try to pick a few and I will try to not be so all over the place, but I just kind of had to do this to get back on, you know, a topic. Before I do my outfit of the day, I was doing my makeup today and, uh, you know, I generally like to wait to tell you about things on till Friday. And I had two new products here. And so I was thinking, what eyeshadow do I want to do today? Well, the first one I went for is that this new Dior palette that I was telling you I meant to get that day and I didn't get it so I had to go back and get it and luckily I had Dillard's was running a special where if you spent X amount that first day you got a credit on May 1st well they emailed that to me so I went in there and got this and I only paid like $13 for it it is the Mirage and when you look at this palette you are gonna think oh my gosh it's beautiful and I will say I will try those because that might help so I thought today, I knew I wanted to wear this pink dress. I haven't ever worn it before. And it's real hot today, so I knew it would be appropriate. And so I wanted to wear these. I like to tell you about like my inner voice when I'm using things. I started out and I was like, this is terrible. Okay, okay, let's try another color. I tried every color on here with a Louise Young natural fiber brush that wasn't real fluffy and I could barely get any pigment. Now it might be one that you can use with your finger but when I have nails on that just doesn't work for me and I don't think you should have to. 
So this is a beautiful palette, but I, unless you just want a sheer wash of a faint color, this was just not that great. So I ordered a lot of, uh, not a lot, but several pieces of the Genevieve Vive makeup. And I have it all sitting here and I haven't tried any of it. And I wanted to either try it all with you or just show it all to you on Friday and then I would try it. But I opened up her eye palette. First of all, how impressive is this whole collection? It is the, I would say, it is the classiest makeup collection I have ever seen done by a YouTuber. It is, if I were to do a collection, I would want it to be just like this. I mean, it is just so pretty. And even her names, the packaging, everything. It's not cutesy, silly, gross names. It's not gimmicky packaging. It is just, I mean, I just can't say enough about the packaging and the whole, the website, the shipping. It is phenomenal. So I opened up this palette, which is the Essential Palette, which is even a good name. Look at this palette. <laughs> this is silly that almost gave me chills. This palette could not be more beautiful. I salvaged my makeup look by using that color. I used that, I used that, I used that, I used that. And I even went over, I gave the black, my black shadow test and went over my liner because I had already done my liner and it just couldn't be any better. It just, there wasn't a bunch of kick up dust everywhere. There wasn't a bunch of fallout blended like a dream. I used one brush for every color. Just amazing. I do not know her. I hope she sees this because I, this is the most impressive YouTube, not even a collaboration. This is her own brand. It is gorgeous. So I will put her website down below. Of course, I got two of her lip liners. I got two lipsticks. And I got two of the shadow sticks. Just, I can't wait. I can't wait to use them now. So, good job, Genevieve. Okay, so I'm going to stand up in a tight dress. I am hoping that this thing is going to stretch out a little bit today. This dress is just like the black ones and all the other ones that I wore from Zara. And I used to get a large. Well, now I can't wear those because... They still fit me pretty good, like in the body. I wore one yesterday underneath a blazer, but because they're looser, they hang down too low right here. So I thought, well, I'll wear this one today, which is a medium. It's a good lesson to most of the time size up with Zara, so I'll stand up. Okay, so here is the dress, and I've got on just the skims underneath it, and when I'm wearing something you know, like this, I, I don't want to wear like a, I don't know, I want to wear a heel because I feel like it makes your body look better, but like I wouldn't, I try to wear something more casual. So I thought these wedges would look good with it because they're more casual. They're the Steve Madden Rocks, rock stud type wedges. I just ordered some new wedges. I ordered some fancy ones and then I ordered a couple of pair that I can probably wear to the pool that we will try out. So as soon as those come, I hope they come by Friday. And so I wanted to show you, and this is like big stuff for me. I wanted to show you my stomach since I've been working on it. See, I've always had just a little bit right there. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get, get rid of it. I don't know if it's skin or fat or what it is, but I'm working on my muscles so that I can at least pull that in. And I'm working on this because I want to lift it, which as you can see, even when you lose the cellulite, it's not that bad because you can't see like through the dress, right? What about you, Chanel? What about you? Doesn't it feel good now that you lost weight? Yeah. <laughs> I hope that you stick with me. I want to just, like I always say, I want to inspire you. And, and I remember when I, before I really made the decision, I remember what inspired me with, were the silliest things. Like, if I can find it, I will put a link to, have you guys ever seen on TikTok that girl that does the roller skating? And she does it to all the old good songs like Fleetwood Mac and just... And she just 
she's in such good shape and she looks so happy and she feels so good. That was one of my biggest inspirations. It's so weird because she's young. I'm never going to roller skate. <laughs> But it was the feeling, the feeling that she has. I wanted that. I wanted to feel good about myself. And it's not all vanity, you guys. There's just, it's your health, it's your energy. And when you feel good, it is just amazing the different things that it's changed my life. It's just changed my life. So I hope this helps and I will see you next time.